Hey guys, I'm Janae with Adventures with Tuckney, and today I'm going to be giving you a look inside of our pantry. We live in a Montana high country, 335BH, and ever since we did our walkthrough video on YouTube, this has been our most requested video. People really want to know how to organize their RV pantry because honestly they don't give you a lot of space to work with and it can be hard to functionalize everything. Let's go ahead and jump right in. One of the first things that we did was add these command hooks right here to just give a little bit of extra storage space. As you can see, this is where I keep my apron and our fly swatters. If you've read my newest blog post with five organization tips for an RV pantry, then you know that we added extra shelves in our RV pantry. Originally, there were only three shelves and when we added the extra shelves, we literally doubled the space that we had before. So what we did was we added a few at different varying heights. This one right here is a little bit shorter. And the reason we did that was so that cans would fit perfectly. And then I also keep popcorn and bread on this shelf. Up in the very top is where I keep extra cooking containers like these foils. I also have my flour and sugar, rice, pasta, all of that is up here on the top shelf. In the middle here, you will see these fabric bins. These have been a game changer for me as far as organizing things in the pantry goes. They keep things together and I also have them categorized. So when I'm looking for something, I know exactly which bin to go to. Over here on the far side, I have things that are microwavable like macaroni and cheese, oatmeal, packets, things like that. Here in the middle is more where we keep like cookies and sweet things that we want easy access to. And then over here on this side is my utensils and paper plates, paper bowls, basically all my paper goods. Keep all that there right in the middle, easy to access. This shelf here is another one that we added and Tucker measured it and made sure it was the perfect height to have these boxes. We keep all of our baking mixes and things like that on this shelf. I've also got boxes of pasta, pasta sauce, extra seasonings, and things like that. These next two shelves are the same height. As you can see, this is another one that we added. And these have three of the fabric bins on each of them. The far one has all of the baking nuts, so pecans, um, walnuts, all of that. We use a lot of nuts, so we've got a whole bin just for that. This one is like peanut butter, pancake mix, basically baking stuff. And then this far side is all of my pasta that is in bags. Um, pasta in boxes is on this shelf, pasta in bags is in this bin. This one here is extra flour, extra powdered sugar, basically extra bags of any kind. And that one over there also has some overflow from that. And then this one has cereal and marshmallows in it. You'll see we also have our broom and dustpan tucked in the side. And then in the very bottom is where I keep things like potatoes and onions, um, my extra large containers of olive oil and coconut oil. I have a large thing of honey down there and then an extra bag of rice. Basically extras go down there. We have a whole cabinet over in that side of the RV that we use for spices and things like that. And then as far as chips and extra snacky stuff, that goes in this cabinet right down here. So the fabric bins that I showed you in the pantry, I actually purchased those at Dollar Tree. Last I checked, they still had them. So go check out your local Dollar Tree. Make sure to measure your pantry shelves because yours might be different dimensions than mine and they might not fit. Also, you can find them on Amazon and have them conveniently shipped right to you. And I will place a link for that in the box below. Another tip I have for you guys is if you have things that you find you're buying in bulk in boxes, I recommend taking them out of the boxes and putting them in a large Ziploc bag instead. For instance, my husband is gluten-free and he loves the gluten-free pancake mix that we can find at Aldi. But we're usually traveling out west and they don't really have any Aldis out there. So before we leave, wherever we're at, if they have an Aldi, we usually stock up on things like that. I'll buy four or five boxes of pancake mix 
that'll last us a couple of months and I'll take them out of the box, put them in a gallon sandwich baggie and I will make sure to cut out the recipe and put that in there as well from off of one of the boxes. This saves a ton of space and allows you to have more things in your pantry at once. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you have, give it a thumbs up. And also be sure and go check out that blog post that I mentioned, five tips for organizing your RV pantry. It's got other things in there that I didn't discuss in this video, so you're gonna wanna check that out. It's on our website, www.adventureswithtuckney.com. Thanks so much for requesting this video, guys. And as always, if you have anything that you want to see specifically, drop us a comment or send me an email or message me on Instagram, and I will do my best to make a video happen. Thanks so much for watching, guys.